It is estimated that 3,000 chimps and 4,500 gorillas are killed every year. Although there are still over 100,000 of each species remaining, there is now a clear possibility of extinction. Yeah, I think uh, that you only have to spend five minutes with these little guys and look into their eyes. They say the eyes are a window to the soul and uh, you realize very quickly that these are indeed our closest living relatives. Many people in Cameroon are not aware of this fact yet and it's very much our mission to try and convince them that apes like these chimpanzees are, are, are valuable, have more value than, than just meat. If people are not prepared to wake up to this fact, then the children who are in Cameroon today, when they're adults, there won't be apes in the forest for them to see. Within one generation, they'll be gone forever. Chris Mitchell is financed by Bristol Zoo and a number of European charities. There is now an international groundswell of interest to save the great apes, with the US Congress passing a Great Ape Preservation Act and a recent petition with two million signatures being delivered to the European Parliament calling for action. The cause has been taken up by the conservation world's leading figures. Eating chimpanzees and gorillas makes no moral, ethical or conservation sense. We are largely they, they are largely us. Um, I think it's uncanny. And, and hundreds and thousands of people who go to zoos in Europe, you watch them watching chimps in, in, in an exhibit. Um, they're, they're clearly struck by how hard, very, very human what they're looking at is. There are enormous numbers of people in the countries of Europe who understand that there's a crisis at the beginning of the 21st century. 